Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you, teacher. Nice. We're going to wait a few minutes so the rest of the class comes. It's okay. Okay, everybody, welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. Welcome to the class. We are going to start, and uh, today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, and suddenly comes the weekend. So let's move on. And uh, the class of today is uh, this one. Uh, so it's number 13. And this is the question that we need to be checking into. For today, we need to do the exercise 2.11. For the weekend, my friends, we need to finish the midterm test. Everything, I mean, unit one, section one and section two, until the, until the midterm test. So if you still have not done all these activities and the previous one, the moment is to start right now. Because on Monday, I will be sending the, the grades to in support. So it's very, very important that you finish, okay? Until the end of uh, unit two and the midterm test. By now, I'm going to check the attendance, of course, as usual. Okay. 
Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Presente, chef. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine López Martínez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Hi, present. Hello. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today. Teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good yeah. evening. Uh, I am going to, I, I want to tell you that I'm going, I can't to be in the meeting because I, I, did, I, I didn't arrive at home. Okay, just let me know whenever you arrive so we can. Uh, okay, I am going to listen to you. Of course. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Okay. Perfect, my friends. Uh, okay, so I also checked on you, uh, Jose. That's fine. So we're going to check um, the topic of today. So the topic of today is provide tips related to return policies when online shopping. This is something that we have discussed in the past, but today we're going to check about policies, okay? So we're going to check this one, the sample return policy for e-commerce store, okay? So this was updated on the 13th of March, 2022 by William Blash, legal and data protection research writer at Terms Field. So it's a very good thing. Okay, so we are going to start. Carla, could you please start? Okay. Uh, return, re, return and refund policies are policies that describe your policies. business process. Okay. And policies that describe your business process, policies, and requirement for accepting returns. In the following article, will discount return and refund policies for e-commerce store, whether you're legally re required to have one. Require. Required to have one, what to include in one, where you should display it and more. We have also put together a sample return and refund policy template that you can use the template write your own very good thank you so this is the introduction what did you get into this one carla and uh, i understand that for do a return or refund the customer have how do a 
simple step is a uh, refill uh, a template with all information. I understand. Very good. For, uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that 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 uh, uh, put the claim for the re return. Very good. Yes, actually, this is something that is very important. So remember that we are we also speak. We have spoken about this one many times in logistics module, in this module about how to return, how that impacts. But in this situation, we are going to check how to how to create a policy of returns and refunds. Okay. So that is good. Let me see if there are some uh, words that we can check into this. Let's see. I don't think so. Everything is clear as Orchata. So it says, use our return and refund policy generator to generate a return and a refund policy for your store. So this is a tool for you to create your own one. So in the first one, it says, at step one, select where your return and refund policy will be used. So the number one is very important because when you purchase something as a customer and you want to return or you need a refund or something, you need to know as a customer where to find that one, right? Where to find the procedure for a return or refund. So in this case, we have two situations, website and app. Uh, so I guess it's very clear, but let's see, Walter, what do you understand on the step number one? In your own words. And polite and my word. Uh, yes. So what will be the first step to create a policy? Okay. And the and the companies uh, are different the polans for example my company uh, we had the uh, police uh, the employees uh, 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 not, excuse me teacher. okay um, um, in political de 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 aceptar trabajadores de tercera edad no importa in english please como dice okay and uh -huh. the people is a uh, a uh, employees a uh, discapacitado no i uh, know remember that we're talking about return and refund policy ah oh, okay return and refund yeah, that specific ah, okay. procedure. So, yeah. Uh, for example, my company is a uh, product batch, and we had uh, a necessity. The the how do you say devolver? Return. I return the the garments and. Uh, very good. Okay, very good. Uh, well, I have a question for you. Who's playing? Is there a soccer match today? Excuse me? Who is playing soccer? Football. Who's, oh, yes. Which teams are uh, playing right now? Repeat, please. Which teams are playing right now? Oh, yes. For example, in today, uh -huh. uh, uh, I practice the soccer and at noon. No, but I see, I, I'm listening that you are watching a, a soccer match right now, right? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> who's playing? How do you say who's playing? Play? Yes. Who's? Who's playing? 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 Who's playing
Ah, okay. And the uh, and the soccer Mexican. And ah, okay. Same fine, same final. Ah, okay. Uh, America Pachuca. Okay, <laughs> interesting. I didn't know that they were playing today. Good. Okay. Okay. So the first step in this example of the policy is select where is going to be the policy, where will be used. So in this case, uh, there are two options in the website or in the app, but that's the first step. Uh -huh. Why is, uh, no, in this case, the selection is only one or website or app, but mm. it's possible that the policy is used in both, yes, in website and app. Actually, it's for both, yeah. But in this case, the this question case is, is where both. will you? No, the thing for is, that, yeah, for both in this situation. So, so the first step for the policy in this situation, when you are creating uh, a policy, okay. is where it's going to be set up. And since this is an e-commerce, okay. it's going to be in the website and also in the app. Okay. Yes. You click all that apply. Exactly. It's not only one. No, okay. it's only, uh -huh. It, it can okay. be fun. I mean, and depending okay. on your depending on your business, that exactly. is the way. Of course, since this is an e-commerce, that this is online, um, the best option is like this: it's in the website or in the application. The problem sometimes is that for you to find the policy or the steps for you to to do that one, sometimes it's difficult to find that one, right? So when you want to return something, oh, it's very difficult. Yeah. So that is the real problem. But this is the first step. Where is going to be the policy? Good. So uh, step number two, let's see. Um, Nelson, could you please read number two? Okay, teacher. Step two, add information about your website, app, and Disney. Very easy, right? So in the step number two, since you are creating here a policy, you need to enter your uh, website application or both, if that applies. Number three, Ada Patricia. Number three, and answer some question about your business practice. That is also very clear. So for example, how many days customer have to ask for a refund? So that is part of the policy. Right, if you depending on the product, it can be. I mean, if there are clots, it might be like 14 days, I guess. If it's uh, an electronic thing, it might be 45 days. So, you need to enter that one. So, that is the, the next step. What are the conditions that must be met to issue a refund? So, for example, the product is broken. If it's broken, you are not going to offer a refund. Uh, there are some options, product must be returned in its original packaging. That is something that is very common, right? Product isn't used or damaged. That is also very common. I mean, if you want to return a cell phone and it's broken, they won't, they won't accept that one. Product must have the receipt or proof of purchase. Also, that is very, very common. It's, I mean, if you don't bring the paper uh, on the bill, you won't be able to. Number four, rows. Thank you, I know I just would like to see. Oh my God. Okay. The mail address. <laughs> yeah. So that is like just to enter the email address and that's it. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. So that those are the steps, the steps for you to auto generate that mm -hmm. one. Okay, Rose, could you please continue reading here? Okay. What are return and refund policies? A return and refund policy is a policy that dictates under what condition customers can return products they purchase from your e-commerce store and whether you reimburse them or not. 
it will also let your customers know the time frame within which your company can accept returns. Very good. What did you understand on this one? A policy is a policy <laughs> that says the or established the conditions that customers have to to know or to read about the the conditions to the condition that we have to to return the products that is it so that like the conditions the steps that you need to do the time frame all the all the parameters right everything that is included in the policy and it should be very clear and it should be available for all the customers so any customer that should be able to to see but, that one. But uh, in my in my last last day, another the last day I say that in my case, <laughs> in when I I enter in a in a site and read the policy. Oh my God, so I can read because there are a lot of policies, <laughs> but we have to we have to we have to read. But it's maybe. There's something that we are don't agree, and and then when we are going to complain, but here's in the policies. Oh my God, that is it. We have to, we have to be careful. That is true. We need to be careful. Of course, as we discussed before, that depends, right? I mean, if yeah. this is about your email, and if yeah. you sometimes if you click, I don't accept. They say, okay, yeah. bye. Okay, okay. <laughs> See <laughs> you around. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to so, say okay don't use it yeah but, but when, if we are uh, at the back and um, we have to read we have exactly. to read we have to read that is important and it's a, a very good i mean uh, it's a very good thing that we need to start doing to read all, all everything that is included because in that way we understand the services right mm -hmm. okay why are return and refund policies important nelson you are going to tell us Hello, teacher. Bonjour. So, could you please help us read? Mm. I am not teacher. Please read. Ah, only, only text. Or text. Yeah. yeah, the two paragraphs, please. Okay. Why are return on the phone policies important? People are the open often hesitant to buy online, which can lead to low conversation rates and service. Return and refund policies for e-commerce stores have been proven to increase the number of people who and who up who end up marking on purchase on they are they are on the Google site. Perfect Perhaps, what is the pronunciation, teacher? Perhaps. Perhaps, thank you. Perhaps, more importantly. However, having ready return and refuse policy in the place can help reduce your expenses when it's coming to return delivery, deliveries. Deliveries. For, deliveries. For instance, consider the fact that in the United States alone, United States, United States alone, studies most of today study statistics, statistics, statistics show that return deliveries cause business fifty fifty three fifty sixty fifty fifty five million five hundred fifty. 550 billion between 2016 or 2020. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Wow. It's confused, teacher. Okay. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. So why are returns and refund policies important? Because for first of all, customers, they sometimes they don't know if they are going to purchase. They're not sure. 
But when they see a return and reform policy, they say, oh, so if the product is not good for me, if it's not working the way that I need, I can return it. So they purchase. And the most of the cases when the customers, they purchase, they keep the product. I mean, if it's a good product, of course, you are going to keep it. So that's why it's very important to have a policy. And of course, also regarding the, the steps and conditions that they can do the return. So that is it. And uh, in mind that it says that uh, in between 2016 and 2020, there were 550 billion businesses that return delivers have that, that amount of money. I mean, that's a lot of money. But if you imagine that that is just a little percentage of all the sales that they made, I mean, that is something, something different. Let's check some vocabulary. Hesitant. What is hesitant? I was looking and it's insecure. Or when you have when we have doubts, is that you say many people have the the hesitance to go in line, but after real the, the the policies, they decide to to do it. Very good. That is hesitant. That is when you are not sure, when you have doubts, when you say, do I do it or I don't? Please try to use that kind of vocabulary in your, in your language whenever you're speaking. Instead of saying, I'm not sure, you can say, I'm hesitant. So in that case, you are going to start using this new vocabulary. If you keep on saying, I don't know, every time, when anybody says, I'm hesitant, you're going to say, what? I don't so know. fancy. <laughs> well, this is not that fancy. No. There are some words that are fancy, but, of course. But oh, this is. I, I speak. I, I don't speak a a, ba a basic English. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, that is something. Yeah. That you're going to have more vocabulary for yes, different Yes, yes, it's nice. Good. <laughs> okay, so the next one is going to be. Oh, I remember there was another one. Uh, oh, where is that thing? Uh, no, there is no other. Okay, let's move on. So uh, the next one is going to be for Osman. Yeah, here, what it says that. that. Yes, yeah. That's uh, sixteen two percent percent. Seventy five point two. 75.2 percent increase over five years ago. Of course, customer may be unhappy with the order for many reasons. It might arrive uh, the damage. Damage. Was the damage. Okay. Damage. It was the wrong side or don't meet all their expectation. They, uh, they may request, require a refund or a replacement. Okay, Esme, what did you understand on these two parts? Um, excuse me, give me one second. Well, Uh, I still picture the, 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 the important is the customer. Um, when they order, um, they have reason. Uh, they, they have reason uh, in attention. Uh, for me, it's very important. Yeah. Mm, no, 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 how I do practice. Okay, don't worry, I can help you. So, uh, what it says that is, well, actually, here in the first part, it says, of course, customer may be unhappy with their order for many reasons. We don't know. We don't know exactly why a customer might return. 
the most common is like they didn't like it, it was damaged, uh, they don't want it anymore, um, it was the wrong size, the wrong color. So in the US, customers, they are very, very picky. They say, okay, I really would like the coffee brown, the, the brown, or I not this one, so I will return, I don't care. Maybe here in the Sabbath we say, ah, okay, it's fine, I'm gonna get it. But no, they're in the US. So uh, there are many reasons why there might be a return or a refund, which is different, right? Let's see, the next two is going to be for Sandra Gladys. Uh, this request or thank Of course, you. of course. Oh, okay, of course. Of course, customer may be unhappy with I'm the sorry. order. Yeah, you are right. I'm sorry, my mistake is this yes, request. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> this request can be over, overwhelming. Overwhelming. With how and this with her a system to handle them, think of all the time necessary to handle customer service emails and the and the money your company may have to spend to replace the returned products. Now think about the expenses just after Black Friday or Christmas. Temporally, the solution is relatively simple. You can make returns as exchange less of a problem by writing and posting a solid return a reform policy for your website. Moreover, you can help increase customer loyalty and potentially generate new revenue revenue by revenue I die done so. What do you understand on this one? Mm. The the paraphor uh, mentioned uh, the devolution the products. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Eh, más que todo en eh, in the, the tidy Black Friday or Christmas. Eh, eh, necessary, eh, I have a uh, solution, exchange uh, less or, or problem, eh, return the product or, or, or refund, refund eh, for, for, for for the website uh, uh, can help increase uh, a customer loyal and potential. Okay, very good. So yes, I mean, uh, this process can be a little bit complicated if you don't do it correctly. Uh, mostly when there are peak holidays like Black Friday or Christmas, of course. But if you have a very nice return and reform policy, that is fine. And if it's published in your website or application or anywhere, well, you, the customers cannot last. Of course, sometimes there are difficult customers, but it's not, it's not uh, all the time. Let's see some vocabulary. I don't think there are many words here. Um, no. Uh, thank, thankfully. Thankful. thankful, yeah, that comes from thanks. So like when you say thanks God, thankfully. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it says standard e-commerce return rates. So let's check into those one. Um, Zulma, please. Hello, Zulma.
Not possible. Okay, Guadalupe. Standard e-commerce return rate. There is uh, no single return rate for e-commerce that you should accept as typical. Return retails for e-commerce uh, vary greatly, greatly, greatly by product category. In, the, in, in this, mm -hmm. no two industries are the same. With the with the same, some statistics show average return rates for right. certain product, certain product category, such uh, as the following. What are the meaning with rates? Rates. Uh, rates is rates. like a percentage. Okay, so the ones that we have there is clothing and shoes, that is 30 to 40 percent. Food is 7 percent. Furniture is 5 percent. Home electronics is 10 percent. Average of all e commerce returns from 50 to 30 percent. So there is a guy, a kind of a nice average. Actually, it's not that bad, right? We are not going to check some other things here, but we're going to continue. Uh, here we says adding shows. Pamela, please. No, Pamela, okay. Gloria. Okay. Yeah. Evidence shows that a commerce store with lower volume, volumes are inclined to have lower returns than those with great greater volume, volume this may uh this may be a result of the fact that more established 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 a commerce business tend to have more flexible return and response policies or because Customer feel less uh, guilty, guilty yep. about return, returning product to corporation than they do a small scale uh, on, online store. Please continue. Okay. Uh, regardless of the size of your operation, it can be hard to decide the right approach, approach for your business with regard to your return and response policy. Please Many mm -hmm. companies can afford to offer free returns like this online retailer. Whatever that doesn't mean you can provide because if your customers with a police, they appreciate. Very good. What did you understand on this one, Gloria? Help me, teacher. Okay, good. So, uh, yes, uh, it says that. Well, it's, it's uh, something that some companies try to do is to get some flexible return and refund policies. Um, but I mean, that depends on the product, of course, and uh, depending on the size of the company, because, well, I, I believe it's much better for you to get something that is very specific. It's instead of being flexible, so it's going to be much better. And uh, that is because not all the companies will be able to to offer, for example, free shipping returns. Sometimes they you have to pay for that one. And that is not that good for customers. Big retailers, big companies, yes, they can do that one because they have 
a lot of money and they have very good deals with the post office and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna check about some words here. I guess I saw some of those. Let's see. Guilty, what is guilty? When we, when we do something and we are the responsible. Very good. When well, I broke, when I broke a, a glass. <laughs> okay. And yeah. my, oh, also when my kids broke something. No, he's the guilt. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, he's the guilt. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like being the responsible for something, right? So that is the, being the guilty. Good. Uh, regardless, what is regardless? Related to? Related to. In this case, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter of the size of the operation, so. Uh, it says that it can be hard to decide, but I don't think so. Uh, maybe in the beginning when you start a company, yes, probably it's complicated to, to check because of the costs, because of the financial impact. But whenever you have some months in the business, you will be able to, to do something that is very straightforward. Uh, can't afford, what is to this one? I can't afford. You can pay for something. Exactly. When you can't pay for something, it's too expensive. You don't have the resources. You can afford it. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. There is no other. Uh, this one is going to be for Sandra Romero. Okay, teacher. Our return and refund policies legally required. The United States doesn't have a federal law, which government's returns are refunds. No state laws require one either, although some states do have regulations about where you must place your policy if you choose to grade one. However, even without laws requiring one, there are still good reasons to put a return and refund policy in place. For example, your customers expect to be informed about your policies and to know that you'll other the terms that have become commonplace within the e-commerce industry. Good, what did you understand on this one? Uh, that all companies have to have uh, return and refund policies. It doesn't matter if in the United States or maybe the, the, the state have a, a regulation about that because when you are buying something online uh, or maybe on a store, you want to know about the return policies. Maybe if, if the thing that you are buying doesn't fix, uh, doesn't fit with you, or what do you, how, how they are going to respond about that. So you, you have to know maybe uh, when you go to Siman here, so you need to have the ticket if you want to change the clothes or the, the things that you are buying. If you don't have it, you cannot do anything. But if you have the ticket, you can go to the store and, and require a return or maybe a refund for the things that you are you were buying. Perfect. That was very, very nice. Thank you. So that is it. Even when the government doesn't have a law about that one, companies, they do it because they want the loyalty of the customers and they want customers to be happy and come back and continue purchasing. Good. What to include in your return and refund policy, okay? The first three paragraphs are for the Urdes. Hello, Lourdes. Not possible. Okay, Susana, could you please help us with the first three paragraphs? Yes. Perfect. Okay. And remember? Yeah, first one. Okay. Remember that people are not inclined to read lengthy and boring legal documents online. However, it is valuable is it is vital to give all necessary information. 
It's a good idea to divide your return and refund policies policy. into smaller parts. Policy, I'm sorry. Policy into smaller parts. This will make the document easier to read. Help customers find what they need and protect you legally. When considering what to put in your return and refund policy, think about the fact the, um, there are many advantages to answering if it's customer centric. Innovate business now. Know that a customer centric return program is an effective marketing tool. Okay. What did you understand on this one? Like, client, we need read the policy, the many, many commerce. Because I, well, personally, I am, I am tired to read that. But I think it's important because have information. Maybe I need it. If, if happened something bad, I think. Very good. So that is it. I mean, uh, sometimes, as, as Rose says, sometimes we see the long document that you need to read in small letters and it's like oh my goodness i don't want to read all that information right uh, so it's vital to give all the necessary information that's why sometimes it's very long is because sometimes there are little details that if you don't explain properly the customers they are going to they're going to misunderstand things that are there and uh, well another important part here is that the policy has to be split, split it into smaller parts. So about how to return it, how to get the refund, where to do it, and what papers you need to get, what are the conditions, things like that, okay? And uh, also it's very good idea to get a customer centric program. So it's going to be like, I mean, just one place for you to return and get your money back. So. Very good. I don't think there are words here that are kind of new. I don't think somebody read it. Read that. Yeah, I guess maybe Latin American we don't read. I guess some people, not everybody, but some people in the US or in Europe, yes, they read that one. Uh, but of course, that depends on the situation. Right? I mean, if you are going to buy a, a blouse, probably you're not gonna read all that information, but if you are going to buy a house, of course, it's a good idea for you to read that one. Yes, because it's much money, but you don't read that for a for e commerce. For yeah, a, that is true. a place on internet. I don't read the contract with, with renovate the phone or a credit card. That is true, we don't read that one. They say, okay, I'm going to give you this document and we don't read it. I mean, they didn't think you just sign. Okay, here is the paper. Give me my cell phone and goodbye. Right. That is the way it is. Okay. The next one is for Jose Ernesto. Hello, Jose. Okay, no problem. Adriana, could you please help us? Okay, teacher. For instance, uh, as report reported by the UPS, uh, 68% of online shoppers verify a website exchange and return poli police, 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 police before yeah. they make a purchase. Many brands advertise that they offer free, easy, and no hassle ex exchange and returns to increase conversion rates. In other words, the evidence shows that businesses that have a return and reform, reform policy that benefit customers of, of them have higher, higher. higher return Purchases rates than those which do not. A return or exchange may actually cost a business 
of the first purge. However, a better customer experience will lead Lead. to he, he, higher. He, higher, higher retention rates and long term re, grow, grow. revenue revenue growth revenue revenue growth to ensure that happens here's what you should put, put and you return and reform policy what did you understand on this one mm, okay and um and maybe um, no, um, I, um, and the uh, website on the uh, document the business uh, and is very important. Uh, the, that give and that give a customer that document their policy and return and refund. And is is benefit and for customer and, and for transparency the the buy and and the other and the other process that the 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 buy the product mm -hmm. okay very good perfect thank you so as you can see here 68 per, uh, percent of shoppers they verify the exchange and return policy so it's not a lot it's not everybody but it's more than half of the people so that is a good thing. And uh, whenever a company offer free, easy, or no hassle exchanges, they increase the conversion, right? They sell more. So what is no hassle? I was looking and it's men without problems. That is it. Not that complicated, right? Something that is smooth and easy. Good. So keep the language of your policy is going to be for uh, who hasn't read. Anna Selmi. Okay, teacher. Keep the language of your policy clear and simple. Before we get into what you should include in your return refund policy. Here's a general rule to keep in mind. The three bullet teacher. Yeah, please. Okay, write the same way that you speak. Normal flowing language and no legacy. If you're not a lawyer, don't pretend to be one. Even if you hire a lawyer, a speak with that individual and get them to legally legally binding language. Binding, binding. Binding, binding language that customer understand and give you return and refund policy of personality. Okay, uh, they are uh, advices related to the how, uh, how, we can write the, the policy. Um, the advices are uh, that the language is clear, Maybe, uh, must be clear, clear for the customers, uh, not complicated, or, or the use of the words, um, with the terms uh, specific, the professional lawyers, uh, when uh, define in the process of the define the policy, it is important to to be clear, but the language is the normal for 
um, for the customer understand the conditions. Very good. That's, that is actually so true. I mean, uh, we need to be clear and simple. That is it. Explain everything in a very simple way so everybody understands. And there are no questions about what is this word, all right? I don't, I don't get what they say. So that is very important. Thank you. So specify a time frame for refund, uh, returns. So this one is going to be for Ada Patricia. Uh, letting, letting your customer know precisely, precisely. How, lo precisely how long they have to return a product is crucial element to include in your return and refund policy. Policy. Poli policy. Typical e-commerce store offer a uh, 50 to 30 day window in which customer can return a product and ask for refund. Some business extend that pe period up to 90 days. Notice how so so specific that I, it will only provide customer with in store credit if returns are made after 30 days. Okay, so this is kind of clear. I guess there are no problem with this one. So specify how many days are going to be set for you to return something, for you to permit. We're not gonna read that one, but it says regardless of the time frame you choose ensuring that you actually have a time frame is essential. You don't want people trying to return products or demanding refunds months or years beyond the date of purchase. Some larger stores learned this lesson the hard way. So that is true. We need to specify that part. Okay, the other one, define the conditions is for Carla Vasquez, for my cousin. Okay, define the conditions under which your asset will thumb. If your customer is immediately unhappy with a push or if the product isn't working correctly, accepting a return and providing a refund may be reasonable. However, it's quite another thing when the buyer uses damage, damages, damages. Of, uh, damages or alters the product and over a longer period of time. Therefore, when you are re reading your writing. Return, writing, your return and reform policy, you should ensure that you include a section that Uplines under what specific specific condition you will set return and make refund. For instance, this is how borrow states that its customer are subject to 20% service fee is return are not in the original packaging. Okay, very well. I guess this is also very, very clear, right? Do you have any comment? Yes, it's very clear. This description about the process for asset and returns. Uh, it's very clear the condition for for a return for a good return. Very good. Yeah, you need to be very clear on what are the conditions and what is going to happen if the conditions are not accomplished. Okay, uh, so this is an example. And the other one says returns requirements. This is going to be for Guadalupe. Okay, return request. Requirements. <clears throat> requirements. You need to let your customer know ahead of time if there are any require, requirement they need to meet before you can <coughs> pardon, process oh, their return. By way uh, of some example, if they must ensure that a product are returned in open it. An open it. An open in, in, in their original package, 
that some something you should stay specifically and you return and return for police policy policy other uh, common condition include things uh, such as customer needing needing um authorization number post receipt shipping address very good perfect so the requirements right what is required for you to return so this is something that also is is very clear on what you need to do uh, the other one says choose in-store credit or refund that is something interesting it's going to be for sulma mm -hmm. No, Sulma. Walter Mauricio. Okay, teacher. And, and choosing a store that credit or refund. Before I direct to the product, customer want to know what your uh, compensation plan is. So a customer will ask for, for refund. And will order may asset in a store credit in your room and hit common store to how to choose and be doing uh, the two options. Okay. So do you know what is a, an in-store credit, Walter? In-store credits, oh. And, and yes, teacher. In what store credit. What is that? And uh, for example, a uh, solicitation, the people are credit. The the money. Actually, not in store credit is for example, imagine that you go to Siman and you purchase something, anything. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you, teacher and you don't like the product. So you go and return that one. You say, I don't like this product. So the company says, okay, would you like your money or would you like in-store credit? That means oh. that for the value of the product that you got, you can choose any other product. Oh, okay, thank you. That would be good. And uh, this one uh, is going to be for Pamela. No, Pamela. Okay, Lourdes. No, Lourdes. Everybody's taking some coffee right now. Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Hello. I, I read you a policies. A read you a read you basic. No. This part, please, only this part. Ah, bueno, voy a subir más. Había subido mucho los teléfonos. Okay. Aquí, I disclose any phrase associate. I will return. I hope we are pray for return shipping and stocking. Host is customer return and eating item. Item. Pushing. For you stop to assure cleaning start ideas this in you red and refund policies. Very good. So disclose any fees, any payment. Remember that we need to be clear on what you are going to pay. So that is just about this one. Where to display your return? Uh, well, this is not going to be something that we're gonna read. So we're going to check the attendance, my friends. Okay. So it's nine already, imagine how fast the time flies. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Yeah. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Listen, teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. 
Gloria mm -hmm. Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Here teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, so we are going to continue with the book. Teacher. Go ahead. I'm not hear my name. Yes, I said it four times. But I got it here, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So this is the book, unit number two, is shopping issues. How to use reported speech. This is a review on what we checked before. Do you remember? Uh, this grammar that is very fantastic and very easy and that everybody understands and can use right now. So how to use reported speech? Yes, no questions introduced by if or whether. Do you remember? The yes, no questions. So let's remember once again. Zulma, could you please read this one? Okay. Yes. Uh, simple present. Uh, please, from what it says, when. Okay. Uh, when reporting things that other people say or ask the bear things often, she's back, yes, no question. This type of question is reported by using ask, want, no, plus, if, whether, plus, clause. Okay, so this is like the first part, right? When reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts back. In the yes, no question, the type of question is reported using ask, want to know, then if or whether, remember, and the clause, the second part of the clause. So in the simple present tense, we are going to switch to simple past. So for example, the customer says, is there a special discount for this product? And the reporter speech says, the customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. Another example says, can these be purchased in the UK or only in the US? So the reported speech is, the customer asked if the product could, because it's can right, could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. So if the Direct speech is in simple past. We're going to change that into, into past perfect, remember? For example, the customer says, was I charged for shipping? So report speech says, the customer asked if he had been charged for shipping. So had been charged, that is important. And the other example says, did the package arrive? So the customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Oh, this is a very interesting. So in this one, it says the customer wanted to know. So this is something that we haven't used, but it's possible. Wanted to know 
whether the package had arrived or not. Look at this. Yes or not? We don't know. So we can ask in this way. It's a very interesting example. If we use will, remember that we're going to change that to will. For example, will the laptop be delivered on Monday? So the customer inquired if the laptop would be delivered on Monday. The other and final example, it says, will the shipping cost increase with premium delivery or not? And the reported speech says, the customer asked if the shipping cost would increase with the premium delivery. So this is a review of something that we already checked. But the question is, do you have questions? For me, this topic, report speech, <laughs> oh my God, in that course are my butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's complicated because, you yeah, know. I try, I, I read and I try, but I don't know, maybe with the practice, but a lot it. of practice. Yeah, you need yeah, to practice not, a lot. It's not difficult. I, I understand and I know that it's not difficult, but. We have to practice. That is the key. Definitely. Yeah. That is the key. Um, maybe the one that makes this a little bit complicated is that has rules and uh, we need to switch things and check the order of the things. And also, well, of course, in Spanish it's different, right? So that makes it a little bit difficult. But as you say, if you practice, everything is going to be fine. Okay, so let's check here. Number five, read the following questions left by the customers in our own store. We'll write each question in the reporter's speech using the examples in the box above as a model. So we're going to practice here. So you want to practice, this is the moment. So remember that these are yes, no questions. Remember the rules. Remember to switch back and to use if or whether. And remember that we're going to use something like asked or wanted to know, inquire, was wondering, anything like that. So the number one, it says, is the item durable? Mm, the customer wanted to know if the item was durable. Okay, very good, that is perfect. The customer wanted to know wanted to know that is the first part that we need to be careful if the item was durable perfect that is perfect nice so let's practice with the number two will the item be easy to use maybe the customer ask if the item will be easy to use. Perfect, that is it. Yeah. So the customer asked if the item would yeah. be easy to use. Yes. That is it, you see, it's very easy. Of course, sometimes we need to stop and think, right? The I real problem- at the end of the course. <laughs> <laughs> very good, that's good. I mean, if you, are, if you are able to use it, that is the objective, right? Good. But my question is, um, in in a regular day speaking English, we are going to use this. <laughs> yes, that is. Yes, he's yes. going to. Yeah. Also, definitely. when when we're speaking with someone and then tell him, oh, tell him, oh my God, oh, she said, <laughs> yeah. Actually, to be honest with you, this is something yeah. that you are going to use whenever you go to New York and uh, <laughs> you are using. Yeah, this is something very common in conversations. And yes. you know, this is something that if you don't use it, because the problem, the problem is that I know this is difficult. And sometimes there are people in the U.S. 
that they speak English all their lives and they can't mm -hmm. use this. So that happens, I mean. And if you don't use it correctly, people won't understand. It's like, what? If we, I, I think that the people that traduce to another person that doesn't speak English, they use it. A lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yes. Okay. If I want to be a traductor, I have to know. <laughs> oh, this is going to be like that. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And there is something that is also happening. I don't know if you have ever had a conversation about that one, but there are some companies that they, um, how can I explain this? For example, if you, uh, if you work in a company and you receive a call, sometimes there are companies that they call you on behalf of other people, but that they have uh, problems, uh, health problems, and they are not able to communicate. So they hire companies that they they uh, they just type in the computer and the people on the phone they say the words. So that is also something that happens. Okay. Now, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well, you know, many things may be used. You don't know when, but you are going to use that. I know. I'm 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 telling you this. <laughs> so Number three says, did you mention the dimensions of the item? <laughs> That's a funny one. Did you mention the dimensions of the item? Okay. How is going to be? Customer. Customer asked if you mentioned the dimension of the item. Very good. The customer asked if you mentioned with ED the dimensions of the item. Very good. Nice. Did you see? That is it. Yeah. Number four, it says, is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold a printer? How is going to be? The customer asked if the bottom shelf will enough to help to hold a printer. Mm, it's almost there. So it's just one little thing missing. So it's going to be like the customer asked. The customer asked if, so that is the clause, right? If the bottom shelf was. So there should be the verb to be, of course, in simple past. So the customer asked if the bottom shelf was wide enough to hold a printer. Good, good, good. Number five. That is going to say, do you charge extra fees for shipping? How is going to be that one? Customer ask, uh, you ch charge extra fees for shipping. Okay. The customer asked, if you charged with the extra fees for shipping. Good. And the number six, number six. Did they want to cover the cost of the repairs? How is it gonna be that? Customer ask her if, um, if the warranty covered the cost of the shop. The, the, excuse me, the repair. Very good. So the customer asked if the warranty covered the cost of the repairs. Ah, very good. We're happy here. So if you still have problems with this one, you need to practice. Uh, I've been so busy these days, but 
um, I'm wanting to send you some exercises for you to practice. So um, if I had the chance tomorrow, I would do it. Um, so you need to create a posture about online shopping tips on hidden. So we're going to work in pairs. Uh, that's not going to happen. This is like more for school or anything like that. Uh, okay, so this is, it says Janet two, uh, the, uh, it says, I will be able to ask stress and provide tips related to return guarantee policies when shopping online. So this is shopping issues. Number one, let's start. Everybody, do you always read their return and guarantee policies before buying items online? Has anybody done that before? one single person here nobody right yeah i guess nobody reads all those letters have you ever returned a product you ordered online okay so this is something that you can tell me have you ever returned a product you ordered online Maybe not because at the beginning it says don't, don't, the product doesn't have return. <laughs> yeah, here in El Salvador is very common. Now. Yeah, in El Salvador is very common, but in the US you can return. You can, as you say, you can put it and I don't like it. <laughs> Exactly. That is the. I mean, that is a valid reason for you to return something in the US. Yeah. I don't like it. It's not for me. <laughs> yes. So well, so that is not good. I mean, I guess that if you're gonna buy something, it's because you like it. But of course, if you really, really didn't like it or it's not what you expected, you should be able to return or get maybe a maybe a pair of shoes that is is the number is not my size because I I get grown and or the company send me another number in that case maybe but yeah that happens actually i mean with the shoes nowadays there is a big problem i mean you are size eight but different companies have different size for eight so i don't know what's what's in going the, on in the year of the pandemic i bought two pair of shoes but i I have one pair uh, by the same store and I only watch the catalog, the colors, and I decide I want this in number five. And they, uh, oh my God, they, they was the size, the perfect size because I have one, like I have one of, of that uh, store. I don't have problem. Okay, so that is a good thing that you know that it's going to fit. But you know, sometimes I purchase online some shoes, number eight, and when they arrive, they are so big and it's like, this is not eight. This is something different than eight because whenever I go, the most of the time is eight, eight, nine, eight, seven. It's like the, size, like the size on the shirts. Exactly. Depend, depending on the, the brand. Uh, it's not the same and small or a medium. A yeah. medium. And when they arrive, oh my God, a big shirt. <laughs> that is yeah. so true. It's not good. So in that kind of situation, there should be a way for you to return products because it's, it's not your, your size, I mean. Or at least you have to have there online the, uh, the size and also the measure, right? It's, 25, 28 centimeters. So that might help you identify. Okay, so we're gonna do the reading. Read the following posts and tips from a forum online discussion returns and guarantee policies. Then click the right answer for, well, check is actually the right answer for the questions below. Check your choices with a partner. So I'm gonna read and you are going to check the pronunciation and then we're going to read. We're gonna read all the, the whole thing. So number one, it says, uh, please check on the pronunciation, okay? Because you're gonna read. 
one, I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from Tech Bay. Their return policy says 14 days to return. I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Number two, I ordered some PC speakers, not sure whether they were faulty or just not suited to my sound card, but the e-store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. My wife just returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problems when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. Tips for shopping online. One, items bought on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Two, returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. Three, save all receipts or order paperwork for the items that you purchase. Four, check the numbers of days you have to notify the return an item. And check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. Five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Now, do you have any pronunciation question? Is rather teacher? I'm sorry, rather. Rather, rather. Rather, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is the pronunciation. Any other? On the tip for shopping online, and number one, and the last word, returnable. Number one, returnable. Returnable. Any other word? Whenever you see words like this, there is a tip. So this is a, a word that is made of two words. So this is return and this one is able. So it's going to be returnable. Any other question on pronunciation? No questions. Very good. Now is your turn. Rose, she told me she wanted to be the number one. Sorry, teacher, but I have a problem here. What, what are you doing? Oh, I'm here. I, I push a wrong bottom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, number one. I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from Tech Tech Bay. They return policy, they return policy says 14 days to return. I want to play with the item for a few days to see if I want to keep it. Now I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Number two, I ordered some PC speakers, not sure whether they were faulty or just not suited to my sound card, but the store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather 
than on one on to, but I doubt, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. Number three, my wife just returned a camera case that was too small for his camera. We have a lot of problems when returning the product and we have to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the, fund, the refund. Tips for shopping online. Number one, items bought on sale may have a shorter return period or maybe not be return, returnable. Returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. Save all receipts on their and or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. Number four, check the numbers of date you have to notify the return an item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. And number five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Osmin. Right, sir. Okay. I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from uh, Tech Bay. Tech they, Bay. Tech Bay. Okay. The return policy says uh, 14, 14 days to return. I, I, wanted, I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now I am not getting a return because the package was not in perfect condition. Number two, I ordered some PC speaker, uh, not sure when, whether, whether. whether they were whether okay, they they were factory or just not uh, sweet to my some some car so car but the ear store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather the, than, than on word, word it, I want I, I wanted, okay, I wanted, but, but I doubt they actually checked them, them before refund. Refunding. Number two, ref, refunding. Number three, my wife just returning a camera case, okay. the case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problem when returning the products and we had to pay shopping to send the camera back. We write it to for two months before receiving the phone. Tip of shopping online. Number one item bought on sale may have a short return period of or may or may not be returnable returnable. Number two return no returns may not be as simple when items are both true a third party website. Number three, say all receipt or other prepare work for the items that you will choose. Number four, check the number of days you have to notify the return and item and check in there are conditions like keeping it the original package. 
Number five, check it. Check, check it. The online store will cover for returning ship. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Anna, sell me is the next. I recently purchased an experience electronic item from Tech Bay. The return policy says 14 days to return. I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep <laughs> to keep it. Now I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Two, I I'm sorry, teacher. No Two, I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or just not suited. Suited. Suited to my sound car. But the ES store took them back without a question. I claim they were faulty rather than went. But I do. They actually checked them before refunding. Three, my wife just returned a, ca a camera, camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problems when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We went, waited, waited for two months before re receiving the, the refund. This for shopping online. One, item both and sell may have a shorter to return period or may not to be returnable. Two, returns may not be as simple with items are both through a third party website. Three, save all receipts or other paperwork from the item that you purchase for. Check the number of days you have to notify the return and iron and check it and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. That's all teacher, number four. Okay. Uh, it's, there is number five, but I don't know if you can see it. I can see. <laughs> okay, that's not a problem. That's fine. Thank you. Guadalupe. Okay. So I recently purchased um, an inexpensive electronic item for from Teach the, Tech. Tech, tech uh, B? Bay. Tech Bay. Tech Bay. Their return police policy, um, policy says a uh, 14 day to return. I wanted to play with the item for for a few days to see if I wanted to keep keep it, keep it. Now I am not getting a refund because the package was not in per perfect condition condition. I ordered some PC speaker, not sure whether they were faulty or just no uh, suited. Sweeted. Sweeted to my uh, to my sound card, but the store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than unwanted but I though they actually checked them before the founding. Number three, my wife just returned a, ca a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot a lot of problems when returned the product and we had to pay ship shipping to send the camera Camera back. Uh, we waiting for two months before re receiving the reform. Tips for shopping online. Number one, it an uh, e uh, item both uh, on sale may have a shortened return 
period or may not be return, returnable. Number two, return may not be a simple when items are bought through a third party website. Number three, save or receive or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. Number four, check the number for of days you have to not, not, not notify the return and item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. And number five, check if the online for return shipment, shipping. Very good, perfect. Now, Adriana. And number one, I recently purchased an expensive electronic item for teach buy, bay. Tech Bay, Tech Bay. Tech Bay. The return policy says for 14 days to return. I I wanted I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep to keep it. No. I I am not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Number two, I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or just not suited to my sound card. My sound card. My sound card. But the e store took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty, the rather than unwe, unwanted. Unwanted. Huh? Unwanted. But I know they actually checked them before refunding. Number three, my wife just returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. We have a lot of problem when returning the product and we have to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited, we waited for two months before receiving the phone. Tip for shipping online. Number one, item both on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Number two, Returns may not be as simple when items are both through a third party website. Number three, save all receipts, 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 or or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. Number four, check the numbers of days you have to notify the return item, and check if there are condition conditions like keeping the ori original page, package. Number five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good, perfect. Ada Patricia. Okay, number one, I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from Tech Buy. Tech the they, they return police says 14 days to return. I wanted to play with the item, item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep, keep it. Now I'm not, see, I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Number two, I ordered, I ordered from some PC speakers, not sure whether they were or just not sweet to my sound card, but the SE store took the, them back without a question. I did claim they were 40 red, redder that unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. Number three, my wife 
just a return a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of, of problem when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for the month for two months before receiving the refund. Tip for shopping online. One item bought on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Number two, returns may not be as simple when I item are both items. As items. Items. Item are both throw a free party with set. Number three, save a receipt or other paperwork for the item that you purchase. Number four, check the, the numbers of days you have to notify the return item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. Number five, check in if the online store will cover for return shipping. Good, perfect. Now, Carla Vasquez. I recently purchased an ex expensive electronic item from Tech Bay. They return Tech Bay. Tech. They Tech Bay. They return police say 14 days policy. to return. <clears throat> I, policy, yes. Policy say 14 days to return. I want I want them to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now, I am not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. I ordered some PC speakers, not sure whether they were faulty or just not sweeter to my soul cars, but the store took the back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than unwanted, but I, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. My wife, my wife just returned to camera case that was too small for the hair camera. We had to a lot of problems when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. This for shopping online. Number one, item both on sale may have a short return period or may not be returnable. Returns may not be a sample when items are bought through a third party website. Say you'll receive or other paperwork for the item that you purchase. Check the number of days you have to notify the return an item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. Check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good, nice. Wilfredo. Okay, teacher, let me check the, the text. Okay. From the beginning, teacher? Yes, please. Um, okay, let me see. Let me check because I, I didn't find myself on. It is. Okay, go ahead. I, I recently purchased an expensive electronic item for tech buy. They return police say policy. policy say 14 days 14 days to return. I want to play with the item 
for a few days to see if I want to keep it now. I'm not getting a reform because the package was not in a perfect condition. Number two, I ordered some, some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were fondly on just not used to my sound cam, but the the stores took them one the back without a question. I did claim they were fondly rather one rather than um on one but i don't i doubt i doubt the date i doubt they actually checked them before re refunding number three my wife just returned a camera case that was too small for your camera we had a lot of problems when return, returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera, camera back. We wait for two months before receiving the refund. Tips for shopping online. Number one, I've been bought on sales may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Number two, returns may not be a sample when ironing are both through a third party website. Number three, say all receipt receipt or other paperwork for the <clears throat> item that you purchase. Number four, check the number of day you have to notify the return on item and check if there are conditional like keeping the original package. Number five, check it the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good, perfect. Now, Zulma. Um, I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from Tech Buy. They, retur they return policy says 14 days to return. I want to play with the item for a few days to see if I want to keep to keep it. Now I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether that they were they were faulty or just not suited to my sound card by the Easter took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than um, wanted, but I don't, they actually checked they, them before returning. My wife just returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. camera. We have a lot of problems when returning the product and we have to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receive, receiving the refunds. Tips for shopping online. Number one, items both on, on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Two, returns may not be as simple when items are both throws a third, part, third party website. Number three, save all receipts 
or other paperwork for them for the items that you purchase. Four, check the numbers of day you have to notify the returns um, item and check if they are conditioned like keeping to original package. Five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good, perfect. Sandra Romero. Okay, teacher. One, when you recently purchased an expensive electronic item from food buy, they return policy and says for some dates to return. I wanted to play within the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Two, in order some, I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whether they were faulty or just not suited to my sound card, but the store took them back without a question. I did a claim they were faulty rated than unwanted, but I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. Three, my wife, my wife just returned a camera ca case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problems when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. Tips for shopping online. One, items bought of sale may have a shorter return period or may not be retainable. Two, returns may not be as, as simple when items are bought through a items. third party website. Items. Items are bought through a third party website. Three, Save all receipts or other paperwork for the items that you purchased. First, check the numbers of days you have to notify the return an item and check if there are conditions like keeping in the original package. Five, check if the online store will cover for refund for return shipping. Very good, nice. And now Lourdes. Okay. One, I recently purchased an expensive, an expensive electronic item from Tech Buy. The return policy says 14 days to return. I wanted to play the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now I'm not getting a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Two, I ordered some PC speakers, not sure whether they were faulty or just not suited to my sound car, but the ESR took them back without a question. I did claim they were faulty rather than unwarranted. Unwanted. Unwarranted. Unwanted. Thank you. But I doubt they actually checked them before refunding. Three, my wife just returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problem when returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. Tips for shopping online. One, Items bought on sale may have a shorter return period or may not be returnable. Two, returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. Three, save all receipts or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. purchase. Four, check the numbers of days you have to notify the return an item and check if there are conditions like keeping the original package. Five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good. Now, Nelson Edgardo. Okay. Number one, I recently purchased an expensive electronic 
Aiden from Tech Bay. Tech Bay. They, they return police policy say for today return. I wanted to pay with the item item for a, a few days to sell if I wanted to keep to keep it. Now I I not getting the refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Number two, I ordered some some PC speaker speaker. Not sure whether whether they were faulty or just not sweet so sweet 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 to my sweeter to my son son car but but to restore to them back without the a question i did claim they were the, that were faulty rated than unwanted but i doubt they actually check it that before refunding. Number three, my wife just returned a camera case that was too small for her camera. We had a lot of problem when returning the products and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We waited for two months before receiving the refund. Tip for shopping online, number one. I am about I am about of the sour may may have a shorter return period or may not be returned. Number two, return may not be as simple when item item are about to draw a third party website. Number three, say a receipt or the other paper. Say a receipt or other paperwork or the item that you purchased. Number four, check the number of days you have to notify the return an item and check it if there are condition like keeping the original package. Number five, check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So we don't have time for more, uh, but the most of you read, so that is very nice. Uh, tomorrow we're going to finish the exercise uh, about the reading. And uh, by now I want to ask you, is there any question about the class of today? No. Only more practice, only that. Okay, okay, okay. The reading today was pretty good, to be honest with you. I was checking and you read very good. I see today that you have improved. So that's very nice. You read a little bit better, pronunciation is better. Of course, it's a process, right? Remember that the practice is very important and I know grammar sometimes is the one that is like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? But you are getting there, that's nice. So uh, the 101 for today is for Rose and uh, it was a pleasure to be with you. Before we finish, of course, we're gonna check the attendance. I almost forgot. So Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. 
Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very nice night and see you tomorrow. Dream in English. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Yes. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow, buddy. See you. Take care. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Hello, Rose, how are you? Hello, teacher. Can't complain, teacher. Okay, that's good, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> how do you feel you're moving on with the English class? I feel good. I feel I feel very optimist. Optim optimist? Optimist, yeah. 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 yeah, because I learn so much every day. Nice, that is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When you when you when you put all the all the things that we read, there are a lot of vocabulary, <clears throat> and I look for the words that I I have an idea, but I don't know. But in that way, I learn so much. That I hope funny. I hope that my brain don't forget that. <laughs> That happens. I mean, sometimes you cannot retain a hundred percent of things, but if you retain some words, I have the idea. Exactly. And yes. sometimes you will be able to either use it or understand whenever somebody says yes. it. Yes. For example, the other day in the reader was a word clever. Do you remember? Yeah. And I say clever. And there was a song that I was listening. Is it says it? I don't know if you if you, if you listen to culture club. The, there is a song that said, is, is it just missing to be clever? And I say, clever. Oh, my God. I, I heard that word. <laughs> and that way, there are many words that I was looking in a movie or in a song. I say, I know that. Very nice. You know, that is a very good practice, the one that you do. I believe that you really, you really enjoy and you really are learning and you do the things that you need to do. Uh, so that is very good because at the end, I believe that you you will get to. Yes, I enjoy, I enjoy the, the, the class. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm sleeping, but, but I enjoy it. I really enjoy it because I like it. Uh, I tell you, I like it. And yesterday, for the first time, at the company and the human resources, they receive a, a certificate, one of the certificate of that course. Really? And the and the the manager of the human resources send send it to me and copy to my boss and the general manager. And they they write uh, congratulations, go ahead, we're going to support you until the end. And I say, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and everybody is writing a mail and tell me uh, congratulations oh my god <laughs> very good because nice. because we start about 15 or 16 people at the company trying to learn in english but uh, at the end um, nobody continue only me Imagine. yeah only me i'm the <laughs> only one perseverance that's yes, the word yes yes i had to do i had to i had to complete that 
very good. You are very, very close. And uh, the good thing is that you are learning, that you are happy, you are enjoying. And if you continue, I'm very, very sure that you will be able to. Yes, I, I think that I, I, I think that I'm, at this time, I have more, um, more vocabulary. The verbs are very important to pronounce correctly like the exercise yesterday, like the video. You have to pronounce very well because there sometimes there's a there's a work that maybe if I didn't pronounce as well, uh, maybe can I say another thing? What? <laughs> we might have we have to be careful, very careful in that in that way. That is but, true. So, no. for example, I have checked that some people in the reading sometimes they say police. Police yeah. and policy is and then definitely. It's policy or policy? <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely, it's yeah. not policy, right? Yeah. Police, no, no policy. No, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not policy. <laughs> so, it's totally different, but other people will understand something. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, I enjoy with my partner, but sometimes I feel very down. <laughs> I feel, I feel they, oh my God, but everybody has her own way to learn. Yeah, that is true. I mean, we respect, I mean, we are here to do their best and if they take advantage, it's their, their situation. Yes, right? as, as I say, as I, I told you or say, I say you. to you, mm -hmm. uh -huh, like if I told you, if I only speak, Sorry, but I like to speak. <laughs> yeah, they miss the chance in time. Maybe that, they maybe. maybe they say, oh, that girl again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good. I mean, yeah. Uh, we practice and if you want to speak, nobody's going to say anything. So yeah. <laughs> there are opportunities, and if you take the opportunities, yeah. we have we we only live twice. <laughs> that is that's a good one. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, but I like it. I like right. it. I'm practicing watching watching movies, uh, TV series in English, and and that's the way that I learn. Very good. So congratulations. Um, if I if I say other word speech for me it's difficult, but I try to understand at the platform. Oh my God, the exercise! What a hard a uh, help. <laughs> head break oh my god no it was uh very difficult but i try i try very good and yeah if you're doing your best i look in and there are many exercises about report speech and the platform oh my god it's continue <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are some of them but it's the, yeah. the practice you know yeah the practice i i hope at the end uh understand <laughs> Of course, you will. Remember yes. me whenever you are walking on the streets <laughs> of New York. Nice. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I like I, New York. Maybe why not? Um, I don't know Philadelphia. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know New Very York nice. is so common. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Everybody goes to New York. <laughs> yeah, but I hope I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Bit. Also, when I. When I watch a, a series in Spanish, I say, oh my God, Spanish. Because it's, it's, it's a Colombian <laughs> series, no? It's, uh -huh. it's only in Spanish. And I say, no, maybe a, an English, <laughs> maybe an English series. Yes, but I like it. I enjoy it. Well, I'm very happy that you are enjoying. I'm very proud that you are moving on. And remember that if you have questions, you can chat with me directly or in the group. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for the passion that you have. But because it's not easy. It's not easy <laughs> to, to teach. Yeah. I really enjoy it. You had to be passionate. I think that you enjoy it. That is true. I guess that's the difference. So, yes. well. It was a pleasure and I hope you have a very good night. See you tomorrow and okay, okay. thank you. Good night. See you good tomorrow. Night. Bye. Bye.